This is the North-South Commuter Railway, the project that will change the Philippines forever. This ambitious master plan is one of the most expensive mega projects to be ever constructed in the country, as it has a massive $14 billion price tag. The program is being jointly implemented by the Philippines Department of Transportation and Philippine National Railways. The National Economic and Development Agency Board approved the project in February 2015. The North-South Railway project is part of the Government of the Philippines aimed to catalyze economic and urban growth in the most populous regions of the islands by providing critical connectivity through a world-class passenger rail service. The project originates in Metro Manila, which is the country's largest city in terms of urban density, with a population of approximately 12 million. With 48 million residents, the island of Luzon is the biggest and most populous island in the country. The North-South Railway project comprises two components. The first component is a 653-kilometer long-haul passenger rail line from Tutuban, Manila to Legazpi, Bicol, with possible extensions from Calamba, Laguna, to Batangas City and from Legazpi, Albay to Matnog, Source Sogon. The second component includes a 56-kilometer commuter rail line of the NSCR for daily riders on Tutuban, Manila to Calamba, Laguna route. An extension of the NSCR approved in 2018 now includes two additional sections, including the 38-kilometer PNR Clark Phase 1 from Tutuban to Malolos and the 53-kilometer PNR Clark Phase 2 from Malolos to Clark. The entire 147-kilometer elevated double track line will include 36 stations and connect Clark International Airport to Colomba. The design and construction of the long-haul passenger rail line will include restoration of the existing track for safe use as well as upgrades for attaining a design speed of 75 km per hour and allowing a maximum permissible axle load of 15 tons. This project will also include repair and placement of over 420 bridges and development of 15 stations and 3 depots. The new line will be served by diesel-powered multiple-unit rolling stock, comprising six eight-car trains with additional spares. It also includes modernization and development of 19 stations and depot facilities in Colomba minimization of impact of road crossing, and the addition of pedestrian overpasses at required points. The railway project formerly cost $9 billion, but it was increased to $14 billion. This project is co-financed by loans from Japan International Cooperation Agency and the Manila-based multilateral lender Asian Development Bank. The cost will also cover resettlement activities, meeting ADB and JICA social and environmental safeguards, to ensure proper housing and welfare support for the estimated 12,901 informal settler families that will be affected. The government will subsidize an average of 5 billion pesos per year to cover capital, operating and renewal costs of the project, an investment that is expected to generate substantial economic activity, create more jobs, increase incomes, and deliver a more comfortable commuting experience. The partial operations will begin in 2022, with 340,000 passengers expected to use the system per day. Full operations will start in 2023 with a higher projected daily ridership of 550,000. What can you say about the North-South Commuter Railway? Is it the answer to the traffic congestion on the most populous island in the Philippines? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more. Thanks for watching.